So Chicago's big St. Patrick's Day parade is coming up on Saturday. Mm -hmm. The dying of the river and all that. When I think of St. Patrick's Day, I think of corned beef, cabbage, mm, green beer, that. and of course soda bread. And yesterday I had the chance to judge different soda breads, 12 different soda breads, mm. in a contest at a little store in Glenview. I'm the owner of the Irish Connoisseur. My name is Megan Van Treek. We are celebrating St. Patrick's Day, kicking it off with the fourth annual Irish Soda Bread Contest. What do you look for in <laughs> good soda bread? What do you think? Moisture. <laughs> uh, good raisins, something that doesn't crumble. Uh, I think what makes the soda breads the best, though, are the stories that come with it. As all the contestants drop off their soda breads, I get to hear about their family history and their stories and where they originated from. From one generation to the next, the story and the recipe are passed down. The third place winner is Marie Knoll. She was bread number three. Yay! Second runner up was Kathleen Downs. Yay! You can just mm. tell how moist that soda it bread is. So Very good. nice. I love raisins and bread. Yeah, mm. her last name is Kearns, by the way, with a K and okay. no relation whatsoever. <laughs> and look from uh, <gasps> Kathleen Downs, the second that. place winner, I brought you a little soda bread that you can try well, after the news second this place? morning. We didn't have the first place one? Well, the first, the first place is pretty popular. I want to wait know? until after the show. I want to try some right now. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now, if Marissa was here, yeah. we never let her have sharp objects. This so. is so good. <laughs> you going to try some with me? Not before the <laughs> The weather? Are you kidding? I, I know you won't be talk. able to finish. That's right. All right. Well, I'll try some while All you right. talk. Go, Go ahead, ahead and give it a try. All Here's right. what we have going on. And by the way, thanks to the kitchen and bath shop next door to the Irish store because yes. they provide all the beautiful counter space for all the judges and all the soda breads there. 